Today I'm going to do a brief review of the Netgear Nighthawk AC1900 Wi-Fi router. You're looking at the box, it came in, just got it a few, uh, few days ago. Comes with the uh, three detachable antennas that are easy to install, just screw them into the router itself. A nice uh, installation guide. Very clear instructions on how to install it. An Ethernet cable to connect the router to your modem. And a power adapter. And it's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. And this is what it looks like in my computer desk. Once, once I installed it, you see the three antennas on it. It comes, like I said, it comes with a uh, yellow internet uh, cord you connect to your router so the base the main the main thing is you just connect disconnect the uh, the modem to your old router power down power should be off then turn back your modem connect the uh, router and then power on your router And then you go to the internet to, uh, to uh, make your settings, uh, get your settings set. Pretty straightforward. The old one I had was a Linksys router, which I had for about 20 years. And it pretty much did the job for the size of the home I was living in. But I moved into a bigger home. And uh, for uh, regular internet browsing, emails, and so forth, it was okay, but if you wanted to stream movies and you're at the other end of the house, uh, the signal was too weak. The movie kept uh, just breaking and pausing and so forth. Uh, this one, even though it's located, I don't have it centralized, it's way over here on the other side, in one corner of the house over here. And I've got about a 2,500 uh, square foot house here. And uh, no problems with the signal. Easy to stream movies. I'm not a gamer, but uh, uh, from what I've heard, this one's pretty good. I've, I've just uh, used it for regular things and regular browsing, downloading movies and so forth. And it's, uh, it's great compared to the Linksys that I had. I will go on uh, my computer a little bit here and uh, show you some of the features that I like on it. Uh. Okay, I'm here in my desktop and I'd like to show you some of the features that you have with this uh, Netgear router. So here are some of the things I've downloaded. Uh, the Ready Share here. Download. That allows you to share printers. Now I could share printers with the uh, the Linksys that I had, even though I had an old uh, HP LaserJet all-in-one printer. I could share it on the uh, on the network. However, the uh, desktop computer that it was connected to had to be on but with this Netgear you have the capability of making it uh, wireless on its own so the computer doesn't have to be on anybody that's connected to the network can access the uh, printer uh, they just have to download this ready share item from the Netgear website The Netgear Genie, Genie, very nice because you can monitor your network here. So here are these options we have here. We have the internet. Click on that. If you have any updates here, you click here. And here I have a new update that I need to get to in a little bit right here for the uh, 
router. Wi-Fi connection. And the thing about this router also, it, it comes with its own built-in password. So when you're setting it up, you're secure. You're secure. Now you can go back and, and change it if you want. Uh, but uh, it does have it built in so uh, uh, you're never uh, wide open for uh, people to access your internet. Uh, the router settings gives you the name of the, uh, the network. Again, you can change that. Uh, your password is there. Like I said, it came with it. And you can change it. Of course, you got parental controls. The ready share I mentioned you can, uh, can download to access uh, the printer and, and there's some other options you can you can do with that that I won't discuss in this video. And then you have the network map. Turn on access control so you can monitor what's going on in your in your network. And like I said with this you can easily go into, if you want to change some of your your uh, router settings, change your password, change the name of the network, ev everything's convenient. Uh, you can do a lot more uh, than you than at least I can do a lot more than I, than I could with the, the Linksys. Now, I do want to tell you that it's, it's a little bit more expensive. I think I think with the Linksys router, I paid around $25 or $30, something like that. Uh, and that did the job for a long, long time. Uh, but uh, I wanted to upgrade when I moved into this uh, larger home, uh, like I said, 25 square, uh, 2,500 square feet. Uh, the the Lynx is just didn't do enough for me. And I'm really pleased with the, the strength of the signal for, especially in my case, I like to watch a lot of movies. I like to see a lot of the replays on the NFL uh, website. So I subscribe to that. So I like to uh, go in there and uh, say Monday after the games, go back and check out some of the... Uh, some of the games uh, and it's uh, it's real neat uh, if you have Netflix you can you can watch them again with no no interruption so uh, I'm really pleased with it and again the price uh, is around uh, depending on where you go uh, in the neighborhood of uh, uh, $200 uh, give or take a few dollars uh, I got it a little cheaper than that with the uh, uh, place I got it from I got it from Best Buy and uh, had a few coupons so Came out a little bit cheaper than that, but uh, somewhere around $200, give or take a few dollars plus tax. And uh, very pleased with it and highly recommend it. Uh, so check it out and uh, we'll see you in the, uh, in the next video.